Just got named E Entertainment from the top ten most stylish stars of the year. So, I did? Yeah, you're in like number three or something. So gosh, <laughs> you gotta check that out. What do you do that's so fashion forward do you think? I mean what do you what do you wear that's so cool that that uh, you get that kind of title? Oh I don't know. I always used to say I dress like a forty year old. <laughs> I always say I dress older. I don't know. I love I mean I just like being comfortable. I like I do like fashion. I just I don't know the trends. I don't know a lot of designers, but I just, I definitely love fashion, I love what you can do with it, and, you know, being on stage, and being on the red carpet, all of it's just really fun for me, so. Do you have any special plans for the holidays? I'm going home. I'm going back to Texas. Yeah, I'm going home. Arizona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, well, I next each other. And will you be <laughs> yeah. spending New Year's with Justin? I'm actually spending it um, with my band. We're going to be performing um, um, in Times Square on TV, so I'm excited. We're just going to be there. We're going to do a performance and just my, flying out my grandparents, my cousin, just spending it there. What do you like to do when you're working since you work so much? Mm, what I like to do when I'm working or no, when, when I'm not, you're not working? I like to do nothing. I like to sit <laughs> on my couch and eat and bake and just that. That. Now that Disney is kind of done for you guys, what are you? What what's going on with each of you next? I just did a film in Mexico called uh, Little Boy. Right. That was a, it's a World War II drama, so it's completely different from anything that I've, that people have ever seen me do before. I got to work with some very talented actors, and I learned a lot. So uh, it was great. That, that should be out uh, in the latter half of next year. Um, yeah, that was, that was great. Oh, and a movie called The Borrow, which is coming out in February. Cool. Yeah. And you were surprised with how well your last album did, I read, and is that something, I know before it was going to kind of go on the back burner for a bit and you were going to focus on features, but is it now kind of come back to the front? No, I'm going to still still do that. I am very happy and pleased with, with how well the record did, and I'm so thankful that, you know, radio and everybody's still being really supportive, so that's great. Um, but next year I'll be starting to do more acting, so I'm going to do two films in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then I'll probably get back to music just bouncing up. I've got to ask everybody, um, favorite episode, now that it's all over, you have a lot of them to choose from. from. Which one was your fave and why was it the fave? I never I never had a favorite. I had a favorite season and it would be season three oh. because it was like we had our groove, we had our thing, it was perfect and it wasn't the end just yet and we just, I really enjoyed that season. Yeah, that was a fun season. The, the last episode was something really memorable. There's a lot of good memories there. The, First episode I wrote was really memorable for me. It's like the table read was 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 hearing my name called in the script and then hearing people laugh at jokes that I wrote was like it was a whole another a whole other type of satisfaction. Are you going um, into that now? You want to write and oh yeah, direct? Completely, yeah, I'm completely. writing and directing a short film. That I, I've already written it, but I'll do it in February. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I'm very passionate about the creative side. Cool. What um, did you guys think of the ending? Were you surprised? Uh, yeah, it was different. It was it was it was creative. Like it, it, we still got that the, the satisfaction that we wanted acting on the show for years. But there was twists and turns and other things that were unexpected, which are nice. That sort of string you along the way. Yes, I was. I I like. I enjoyed. I I was. I wasn't really. I didn't know what to expect. They did. They didn't tell us who was going to win. They didn't tell us anything. Oh yeah, we, the we, they, they kept. They kept the last ten pages of the script out of the script until literally like almost until almost the day like, we shot it. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, that was not. We didn't even read it in the table read. That's right. So we that. didn't even know. So I was very surprised, and I, I think I was. I was happy with the way we ended. I think our fans will be too. What has been the craziest fan experience that you guys have had over the years? I don't know. I have, I don't, I mean, going overseas <laughs> is really, really fun for me. Just because you never get to go overseas. I, I toured, I toured the States, I toured Canada, and going to South America, and like going to places like that, it's been really cool. The fans are so passionate, and they're really fun, and, and they just are loud, and I love that. Yeah, hearing people <laughs> run up to you speaking a different language is like, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's an odd experience. <laughs> but it's flattering. Like they know you. It's nice. Yeah, they know you. It's just weird having yeah. kids speaking a completely different just language. Just smile. Do you, ever, do you ever miss the fact of being able to go out and like a normal teenager and, uh, you know, being a tourist and the fact that you cannot do anything in public without paparazzi or fans? No, mm -hmm. I have that. I, 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 nothing has changed for me. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, you get recognized occasionally, but I don't. I don't want that, like, I don't, I'm not scared of that, you know, I want to go do things, I want to go out, I want to go see the places that I'm going to, so obviously I, I do that, I don't let that be a factor. I yeah, I don't think it's as, I, I always get that question, yeah, it's, it's different than people think. Yeah, like, people it's assume not, it's awful. Because <laughs> all, they, all they see is what's in magazines and stuff, and yeah, of course that stuff is plastered there, but it's, it's, it's different than in real life, it's, I don't think it's as bad as people think.
Oh. Well, probably for not for us. It'd probably be like Jennifer Aniston and all those people. Yeah, yeah. It's it. not as, it's not <laughs> like a lot. Right, right, right. What's a per, uh, question you never want to hear again from the class? <laughs> What's your favorite spell? Spell. I knew it. <laughs> it's so we never know what to say on that or embarrassing moment. What's the most embarrassing? Embarrassing moment. moment. Embarrassing moment and spell will be ones that I will not miss. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, what do you guys want for the holidays? What's the what do you hope Santa brings each of you? I just want to go home. I just want to be with my family. That's all I want. I'm apart from them all the time, and I just want to go back and be with them and cook and eat yeah. them. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I'm with, I'm with her on that. I want to get home. <laughs> Miss my family. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? No, because I can't keep them. Okay. <laughs> Awful. I make them every year, and then I forget the first week that I forgot. I don't even have Yeah, them. I don't know New Year's. I always set goals for myself to accomplish during the year. This year, I accomplished all my goals, and next year, I have goals that I want to do, that I want to accomplish. But... It's not like New Year's resolutions, but I set a goal. I set goals for myself in the beginning of the year. Who do you guys want to work with? Are you done either either in music or in um, drama or comedy in movies in future? Who are you dying to work with? Oh man, I, that's a good list. that's a good question. There's I would the love list. to work with list. as a director. I'd love to work with Paul Thomas Paul Thomas Anderson. Oh. He's one of my favorite filmmakers ever. Um, and he's from Studio City. Or he's from the Valley, which, which I'm from. Cool. Um, as an a an actor, I'd love to work with is Brian Gosling. Yes, me too. <laughs> yeah. For other reasons. Love to, yeah. I love to work with him. Um, yeah. So if Ryan you Gosling. work with him, please let me come see you. I'll let you visit. Thank you. Let's see if I can get you a set pass for the day. Please. What about you, Selena? Your professional dreams or? Um. I am in a transition period, so right now I just really want to make great movies, I want to make great music, and I just want to have fun and, and, and just focus on that and just kind of focus more on myself. So. What's a song on your iPod that would surprise people? I have a lot of rap. Mm -hmm. For real. <laughs> <laughs> I like country. I like older stuff, like 50s kind of stuff. I have the Power Rangers theme song. I bump it loud. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Like sometimes, sometimes like if I'm going through the canyon and like there's not a lot of cars and I'm just wanting to go real fast. <laughs> Power Rangers theme song lights a fire under me. I don't know what it is. Oh, I, get it. I don't think they would guess that one. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, that's good. Um, the souvenir wand that you guys got to take home, where are you going to keep it? Oh, we, uh, did we get to keep our wands? Oh, no, the souvenir no, wand that you guys got to keep it? home. In our mom's office. Oh, okay. yeah, my mom's office. Okay. I'm visiting my mom's office. I said ours, as if she's our my mom. Yeah. My mom and his mom, the individual's office. Different, they, yeah, different, they, each one of them. Do okay. you guys have something special that you like to wear when you have to do red carpet events? Like, I don't know, maybe a piece of jewelry or lucky? I have a lucky pair of underwear that I didn't even know were lucky. <laughs> I'm serious. What like, made it to look so lucky? Well, I had a really, like, I, I figured it out a few months ago, like, I, I had some tough scenes in this movie. And I figured out that all the days that I did really well, I was wearing these underwear. <laughs> so I had to make sure I bought a bunch of them, and they were washed off then. <laughs> I'm not wearing them now, so this might not be going very well. But. Do you have anything, Selena? Don't say underwear. No, no I definitely don't have that. I, no, I don't have anything. I like to just kind of change up for the carpet. Is what would you say to the fans now that it's over? What's your wish for your, for your fans? Just thank you for being with us for four years. We really, really had the best time, and we hope that you know everything that we did, you guys enjoyed, and and thank you, and we hope you're satisfied with the ending. Is there a dream role that you would die to have, like a specific storyline or a type of character or person you'd like to play, like maybe someone from a different country or something like that? Oh, I don't know. I, I've always admired this guy named Stevie Ray Vaughan, who's a blues guitarist. Um, I would love to play him. I would love to play him. In I'd love, to learn, love, love to learn. I know if if he did like have a biopic, like I'd love to learn guitar and like learn how to sing like that. And, like actually play, play guitar. No, but like play guitar well, like him. Well. He's like the greatest. <laughs> I, that would be a dream for me. I don't have a I don't have a dream dream role. I just I really want to do things that are different and challenging, not one specific genre or anything. Just kind of have fun with it, do different things. What about directing and writing? Would you like to do no. some of those I will stay in front of the camera. <laughs> 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 he, he does all that. He's, he's the whole package.